What's on everyone? Welcome back to Japan. You have no idea how happy I am to say that. We're back, we're back in Japan. Uh, you guys know how much we love Japan, um, but this time it's gonna be different. Uh, so this video is kinda gonna be like a bit of an update and a bit of an informative video onto uh, why we're in Japan, what we're doing here, how long we're here for, what we're using and what we're shooting with and all that. So let me run through the details about this because um, I am very excited about this trip. First and foremost, let me just point out something that's new. So I'm actually shooting this with a different camera. So I've partnered up with Panasonic recently uh, and they've loaned me the Panasonic Lumix GH5S. So I'm gonna be vlogging all of my Japan stuff with the GH5S. Uh, benefits of this camera is that it's incredibly good in low light conditions, so much better than my GH5 on that. Um, Ellie's gonna be shooting with the GH5 and uh, using the other lens that we've got with it. So I'm gonna be testing this camera out quite extensively throughout the whole Japan trip. Um, I'm gonna be doing specific videos on some of the things on that and uh, specific things within other videos using the GH5S uh, predominantly. Um, I am still shooting photos with my Fujifilm, so you will see that of course as well. Uh, this is just a marginal upgrade to my existing setup of previous videos, to be honest. <gasps> oh, God. All right. I should point out where we are. Uh, we're currently in Daikanyama, by the way. Uh, this is a little strip called Log Road. It is beautiful. It is typical Japanese in the way that they are stylish, clean, and um, just very modernized. I'm very much enjoying this area. Uh, we've been shopping here a few times before anyway. But um, yeah, I digress. So as I said in this video, I just kind of want to touch upon a few things and just kind of like update you on some stuff. So first of all, Happy New Year. It is 2019 and what a start. I am super excited to be here. Uh, hopefully you guys have got some exciting stuff as well. Secondly, I just want to thank you guys for all of the incredible support you give me over the New York content. So all of the thoughts and feedback you've given on the photos and the videos. Um, I had so much fun making that and uh, it seems like you guys enjoyed that. So I'm really sort of overwhelmed, I guess, with how that series has gone. Um, and I love the idea of making series of content, which is kind of what we're gonna be doing here in Japan. So yeah, massive thanks for that. I, I really do appreciate it. So what are we doing in Japan? Um, I think this is the sixth time I've been here now. We came here earlier in 2018 and uh, then 2017 we came for about eight weeks or so, and 2016, number of weeks again. Um, but this time we are here pretty much until April. Um, so it's currently obviously the very start of the year um, and yeah, that is a considerable long time. Uh, we do technically have a little trip out of Japan uh, in the middle of that, so we're gonna be going to America and doing some content and road trip stuff there. But for the most part, we're gonna be in Japan and we wanna see more than just Tokyo. So obviously we always come here because Ellie's family are based in Tokyo and we're able to kind of have that sort of set up here and, and use that as a base. But we wanna see more of Japan and there's reason for that. Um, so. Of course, we love Japan and uh, making stuff here is so inspiring to just get shots here and I love filming in Japan. It's just beautiful and it, everything just aligns and works perfectly for me. Um, but secondly, the Olympics and the Rugby World Cup are coming up. Um, so the Rugby World Cup end of 2019, the Olympics 2020. I've been following the path of that for the past six or seven years or so and I am a big fan of the Olympics. I love what it can do to an area in developing it and sort of like bringing awareness and sort of economical growth to areas. Of course, it has been in countries that need that extra support and push and there can be some sort of political differences there, but put all of that aside and focus on the great stuff about the Olympics and it is phenomenal how much activity it can bring. Japan is no different to that. The growth in tourism coming to Japan is literally increasing and exploding every single year. So since we have been making videos in Japan uh, over the past few years, the sort of growth of that content has done amazingly well. Um, so of course we're gonna try and ride that wave and make our own stuff um, about Japan in the lead up to that and hopefully you guys who wanna to come to Japan as well, we have some tips and information and insight and uh, hopefully we can help you guys out and get you inspired 
to come and visit Japan because it is an incredible place. I, I can't speak high enough of it. So this is all completely self-planned and it's all self-directed. We go to destinations not because we've been invited by tourism boards or anything. We go there because we actually want to be there to make content. You know, it's it's literally all about the art and the heart. It's where, it's where we want to be to make stuff. Um, so we are in Japan to do exactly that. Now the big aspect of the trip that we are sort of planning is a rail route. Uh, so originally we were talking about doing a sort of a road trip across Japan, but we realized that a few things. Uh, firstly, the toll roads are quite expensive and quite extensive across the whole country. Um, so we don't really want to be paying for toll roads all the time. Um, hiring a car can be kind of expensive, but it's generally okay. Um, but mostly, Japan is so well kitted out for the trains and rail network that we may as well just work on that. So we're going to be doing a rail route uh, throughout all of Japan over three weeks, and I'm hoping to make a sort of premium set of content and a whole series about that. Uh, so that's kind of the main agenda for why we're here and what we're planning and, and doing everything. So that's going to be coming very soon. Uh, we're going to be spending all of January sort of traveling that and then um, editing it and working on it uh, in the weeks that follow. So make sure you do check out our Instagrams and we'll be posting our stories and up-to-date uh, information about where we're going. Uh, likewise, if you guys have any tips and suggestions of where we could go and where we should go and see, um, then please do leave them in the comments. That would be brilliant. I would very much appreciate that. Uh, right, other stuff that we've got coming up this month. Um, so obviously I can kind of say this now because I've kind of kind of got rid of my backlog. It feels so good to not have a backlog of videos to uh, edit and publish and I can almost, almost, I'm, I'm never going to be, but I can almost be in real time with these videos. Um, so around our rail trip and uh, just before we're actually going to be making a few videos um, around Tokyo and you know, some of the photography stuff that you uh, have previously seen, but I'm also hoping to do more than just the photography video. So I don't wanna always just be making the same videos in Tokyo, and obviously we've been here a number of times before, so kinda wanna work on some different stuff. Um, so yeah, we're gonna be experimenting and uh, just all around taking a whole fresh start to the year. Um, I'm just so excited and pumped to be making stuff. Um, it feels like I've been away from it, even though I've continually been making stuff. I don't know, I just, I feel energized and fresh. Um, maybe it's just the whole New Year thing. Uh, it's kind of gone to my head a little bit. It's cold, isn't it? <laughs> I'm gonna go for this one. See how that tastes. Did you get the shot too? <laughs> do, 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 do. Cheers. So with it being winter, one of the things I'm very happy about is that pretty much all of the vending machines have many more hot options. Uh, normally you do get like cold options and hot options, but when it comes to summer, there's like maybe one hot to about 20 cold. Now we're in winter, we've got the opposite and I couldn't be happier. I love these little hot ones. This, this particular one's not actually that great. Um, but the you little the Georgia Premium. Georgia Premium, yeah. All the hot and sweet coffees. There's something special about them. Um, yeah, they're, they're so good. Son of the cheese. Does that mean his dad made all the cheesy dad jokes? Ah! ah. Son of the cheese. <laughs> it's the son of the cheese. <laughs> <laughs> so we've actually been in Japan for about a week and a bit now, uh, a week and a couple of days, and I've not actually been out properly shooting yet. Um, we've just kind of been, you know, working at home, catching up with the Canada videos and other things, and just planning so much stuff. Um, now, one of the things that we kind of are, are working towards and hoping to do during our rail trip is go skiing. Um, so I've always, always wanted to come skiing in Japan. Apparently it has some of the best snow in the world, some of the best powder. Um, I learned to ski on a dry ski slope when I was younger. Uh, there was one like 15, 20 minute drive from my house, oddly enough, kind of weird. Um, but uh, I've never skied on real snow, so I'm really keen to do that, and uh, where better than to do that in Japan. Um, so we're definitely going to be covering the Japanese Alps and doing a lot of uh, snow activities, hopefully. Uh, we haven't actually confirmed anywhere yet, we're still sort of 
choosing where we want to go skiing. Um, there's plenty of options and a lot of choice. So yeah, because I know Hokkaido has some of the best snow uh, in Japan, but it's very much regarded as an area for professional skiers and snowboarders and we are definitely not at that level. We are probably going to be wanting to learn how to do it because uh, even though I learned to ski when I was younger, I would have been about 10 or so when I did do that. Um, so it's been a good 17 years. So uh, yeah, if you do have any recommendations of places uh, to go and ski, then uh, do let us know in the comments. Um, as with other things, you know, we're just kind of opening it up to uh, suggestions, I guess, because uh, this is a two-way street. We share what we know about Japan, and hopefully you guys will share back and we can have a nice little community about it. I just popped into my favourite store in Harajuku, Dispatch. I um, just had a little browse, and uh, once again, because I have yet another camera with me, I needed another strap. Um, and the guys in there, they mentioned that a lot of you guys have been to the store um, because of my previous videos that I've mentioned on it. So that's really cool that you guys have discovered them because of that. And uh, I think it's great because they're just, I don't know, one of the one of the best sort of camera strap manufacturers I know of. Um, I love the quality of them and they're pretty small. So give them all the support you can. So just before I end this video, I thought I'd mention that um, I know these videos are never quite up to date, but if you do want to catch the most up to date information of where we're at and what we're doing, uh, then do follow our Instagram, uh, particularly our Instagram stories. Um, now I am hoping to do a couple of, I guess, meetups. Uh, I've only ever done one before and that was in Amsterdam and it went really well. So I'm hoping to do some more and I don't actually know the dates of which <laughs> for when I'll do that yet, but I know that I definitely want to do a few across Japan. So make sure you do follow the Instagram. I'll be posting the details in a post or in my stories or sometime, uh, probably in Kyoto during our rail trip and probably in Tokyo after the rail trip. Um, and then also after the rail trip, I'll be going back to London to visit uh, VidCon. So I'll be around in VidCon as well. So if you're there, then uh, make sure you do check out the uh, the comments of the discussion and all that and I'll be posting updates there because um, yeah unfortunately with these videos it always takes time to edit them and they're always delayed so uh, unfortunately I can't be up to date on that but I hope you've enjoyed this I hope you're looking forward to the Japan videos I definitely am and uh, yeah I will see you in the next video so thanks for watching and I'll catch you soon matane